Honorable, we saw you visiting Honorable Kampiong. How is he? Well, he's okay. He's in uh, high spirits. We, we've had a chat. And uh, we're just waiting for, for the next course of action. And first of all, it was surprising that uh, they decided to call him here and uh, you know, record a statement from him from here and let down the transport him to Shuangan when they would have just asked him to put himself to a police station in Shuangan. And secondly, what is happening here is uh, we are not allowing anybody to see him. This is unusual. It's also unfair. Family members and friends are here to try and see their, their, their friend. And uh, the restrictions, phone calls coming from all over. We have said this time and again that uh, this persecution is political. And the owner, the vice president, on the floor of the house, has denied vehemently saying they will not take that route. Yeah, but all that we have to say is that Zambian people should now see when we expose government for what it is, uh, for failing to fulfill the promises that they promised the Zambian people. They now would like to divert attention by these arrests that are making headlines and, uh, and so on and so forth. But we will not lose sight of what we have to do for the Zambian people. We will continue to ask them, first of all, to ensure that uh, they look into the issue of um, uh, high electricity tariffs and fuel. That's what the Zambians want to hear. We are supposed to be in the House, in the House of the Members of Parliament, right now representing the Zambian people in Parliament, requesting government not to implement or increase fuel, requesting them not to increase electricity. But we are here. Why? Because they are deliberately disturbing the smooth operation of parliament. Yeah. So as Zambians, we want you to wake up. Don't sit back. One, as Zambians, we have to fight for the democracy. We saw the ruling that was handed down by Madam Speaker yesterday. That's not our fight alone. It's a fight for every Zambian. Because that injures the democracy that we fought for. And uh, the Speaker is not acting alone. She's acting on instructions. She's acting on instructions. So what you have now, you have uh, the, the breakdown in the rule of law, in the executive as we are seeing now. We are seeing the Speaker breaching the Constitution at will in the legislature. The only hope that we have is in the judiciary. And if at all, the judiciary does not come to the party, they don't come to the table, we will only remain with one court, and that is the People's Court. So I want to call upon the Zambian people to remain firm and steadfast. That now we are headed for uh, a, a, dict a dictatorial rule, because they want to clamp down every voice that is there to speak. It's not very long ago when the president was saying, uh, you will see who is in charge of government. So this is what we are seeing. He warned us. He, he did not hide. This is a, a president who is out there to threaten and intimidate citizens. So what we are seeing is not unusual. Yeah. Because uh, in the president's own wisdom, he believes that members of parliament should not speak. Because when Kampiongo speaks, he's going to be embarrassed like that. When Malangi speaks, he's going to be embarrassed like that. When Munduwile speaks, he's going to be embarrassed like that. That is what, that's the kind of government that the president, president Akainde wants to see. But we'll only make one undertaking. We will not relent. We will fight to the hilt. We will fight to the bitter end to ensure that we realize the Zambia that we fought for. Now that the Zambians know that after all, the promises the president made, the freedom that he guaranteed, and the freedom that we got for ourselves in 1964 is now under threat. We will stand with the people, we will stand for the people to ensure that we enjoy and continue to enjoy that freedom. Uh, what, what, what type of charge has he been given? Well, as you know, in all these cases, they're having to trump up charges. It's even difficult for me to say because uh, they are picking every little thing. Oh, you stoned someone at the farm 10 years ago and so on. It's just embarrassing. I don't want to commit myself to what charge, if there's any charge. So what it is, is it's not that Honorable Campion has done anything. Is purely political persecution, nothing else. Don't even look for charges, you'll be wasting your time. There are no charges. It's just political victimization, political persecution. That's what it is. No, I think the charge uh, on the leader of opposition is the hatred that Mr. Anka and the HLM has in his heart for certain individuals. He has a list of members of parliament he wants to fix. So the real charge is uh, hatred from in Mr. Anka and his heart. For Kampiongo, Honorable Kampiongo, Honorable Chirufia, Chitaru Chirufia, Honorable Mundubire, Malanji. Honorable Malanji, he has a list of names he's instructing the police to arrest. 
Now you can look at the stress the police are going through, having been denied the promised one five, you know, increment to their salary, having been promised the new boots, new uniforms, and still subject them to this kind of drama is unnecessary. So in the next few days, you are going to see an increase. Because now Ms. Aka and HLM has taken SC, SCC, yes. DEC, yes. and all these law enforcing agencies, including the police, at his house, That's right. giving them instructions in the morning, yes. at day, lunch, and in them. the evening. Personally so them. there are no charges. It is just his hatred. When he wakes up in the morning, his heart turns, he says, where is Gampiong? His heart turns, where is Chirufiachito? When they tell him, the police tell him, there is nothing we have found. He says, you have, you have to find something. So what is going on here is really drama, and we, like the leader of opposition has said, the real answer at the moment that it remains is the court. Beyond that is the people of Zambia. It's the people of Zambia. Just to add something, at least one of Campion must stand as a very, very proud person. He built this police station where they got him. He built these houses for the police officers. Police officers used to stay or live in houses whereby they used to apply that to Mandala, red oxide. They used to go in the toilet outside. Today, the police officer at least is staying in a very dignified house. What has Akain the speech the Madrid in 100 days? Nothing. Let him go back to the Zambian people and the police officers. Give them 1,500, which he promised them. Let them honor the police officers and improve the condition of services. Victimizing members of parliament is not taking anywhere. You don't use the back door. To come into power. You don't use lies to come into power. You don't victimize. And you know, you should not. Why is it that these arrests are only from one region? Mm. Northern province or Pura province? What have we done? Because the following day is me. Why is it trying to be tribal, nepotism, selective arrest? This is unacceptable. Mm. You don't rule through dictatorial tendership. No, this is unacceptable. Honorable right, Mdubi, lastly, uh, is this. Sending fear in the PF members and officials. Are you scared? Not at all. Not at all. We are leaders who are elected by the Zambian people. And uh, our resolve is to defend, first of all, the peace that has continued to prevail in this country from the time that we got independence. We will defend the democracy that uh, the Zambian people voted for. And we expose the government for who they are. Because now the Zambian people can see when the president comes and says the Zambians are free, the answers are all here, the answers are bound. So as to whether we, no, 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 forget fear is the last thing that you're going to be saying. We are going to fight on, and uh, like we say that uh, the Zambian people, Zambia is bigger than any individual. So if at all, the last hope that we have is in the judiciary. And if the judiciary doesn't uh, uh, come to play, then the Zambian court is what is going to come in. And Malawi is setting a very good example, and we are good learners, that I can assure you. We have a learning spirit which is very prominent. So Malawi is setting a very good precedence, and we are willing to learn from them. I think they are gallant men and women there. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>